Hi party people, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, welcome for the first time. Right, this is the intro to a, a wedding that I did last weekend at a beautiful venue uh, on the Middleton Lodge uh, estate in, uh, in North Yorkshire, on the North York Moors in fact. It was a, um, a marquee wedding and I want to talk a little bit about it before we get into some footage uh, and get your comments. For the for the rest of the DJs out there, um, I got contacted a few uh, a week or so before by the uh, the estates manager or the function manager wanting the usual PLI certificate, uh, pat test, all the rest of it, which I I emailed to them, and then a day before the wedding, I also then got uh, an email with their sound policy, and they, it would have. have an in-depth document and basically it said right under no circumstances am I to use my own speakers uh, I need to plug into their system <clears throat> which you know some venues have that uh, we don't always like it and uh, it was a, a system where if you go slightly too loud it, it won't cut out it just compresses the sound in fact it compresses it down to 60 decibels now I don't know about you but I snore louder than 60 decibels but it, it had speakers, or little satellite speakers all around the marquee and in the centre where the main centre pole was there were speakers, sort of flat speakers, downwards onto the dance floor. Now the maximum sound level was 90 dB which is um, probably not loud enough for, you know, for that sort of event quite a large event, about 400, 350 people um, what is your opinion on it? Because when we actually did it, I spoke to the, the bride actually the night before uh, just to check up everything that she wanted, blah blah blah, go over the last minute details and I mentioned that to her and she said, oh, I weren't aware of that. I said, well, you know, that is the system, I can't bring me on speakers, but we'll have a great party nevertheless. Now, I worked with uh, a couple of great vendors. I worked with a sax player, he was superb. Uh, the photographer, brilliant, I'll put there details in the description below but it did definitely affect the experience for the guests a couple of things when I would in grand entrance and, uh, and and you know my introductions on the microphone people couldn't hear me unless you were anywhere near the dance floor you couldn't hear me um, and also when we got into the the main dance part all I got uh, grief turn it up turn it up turn it up and I couldn't because every time I turned it up it compressed it and turned it down again. Now it got to a stage where, you know, I'm not redlining and clipping. I got as much as I could before I redlined and, and that were it. And it just wasn't loud enough. Now I understand that, you know, that they were saying that oh, we need to work with the local uh, authorities. Now this place is in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's a massive country house estate in the middle of nowhere. So I'm just wondering, you know, what that situation was. But you tell me in the comments below. Um, these these venues are taking a lot of money. This should have been a twenty thousand quid wedding, and they're taking a lot of money off people uh, to give them their, their wedding experience. And sometimes, you know, it, it spoils it. It definitely spoils it if you can't have the correct party, if you can't have that vibe and that atmosphere. Because, to be honest, we were uh, a lot of the songs that were playing. You know, I could hear the shuffle of feet on the dance floor and it was just all wooden floors so you let me know what you think uh, about that situation um, I only knew about it the day before not a lot I could have done about it I'm, I'm contemplating you know when I take on venues uh, finding out a little bit more about them because at the end of the day I get grief I get stressed you know you get a lot of people coming up to you you turn it up what's going on blah blah and as if it's my fault I did explain to the uh, the bride beforehand, but uh, at the end of the day, we've got to make it the best day of their life. So, uh, and we did, and they had a great time. But, you know, the sax player, in the end, the sax player decided to to uh, turn off his microphone on the sax because, and go sort of, you know, <laughs> without, without uh, amplified, because at the end of the day, it was louder. So, you know, you let me know what you think. 
Um, thanks so much for joining. I, I, I've not a great deal of footage. I'll show you the venue. It's a superb venue. Show you the setup, uh, a little bit of dancing and what have you, and uh, and that's it. So hit that thumbs up if you uh, you like the the video. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you're new here. We, we're posting content all the time. Uh, thank you very much indeed for stopping by and let's get into this video. By the staff. I'm loving this but uh, we're having to use the in-house system and they keep turning it down and I keep getting grief that it's not loud enough so you know 